Okay, you see the slide? Yes. Okay, <laughs> again, good afternoon and really would like to congratulate Professor Rosson for very impressive progresses in uh, technology. So I'm very, very happy for, for, for this and especially for Egyptian and not only cancer patients. So uh, now we move uh, uh, another topic uh, about again in gynecological cancer, but it is uh, an issue that is quite interesting, EMRT versus uh, uh, brachytherapy, brachytherapy boost. Uh, just again, a short introduction about uh, the role of brachytherapy as well now, probably we don't need, but just to remind, that brachytherapy is still considered the standard technique in the treatment of the most common gynecological disease. The major advantage is a very high and homogeneous dose of the radiation locally, given locally to the tumor in a relatively short time, depending on the type of technique that we use with very low dose in the surrounding tissue as the distance around the surface increase. Brachytherapy is uh, commonly used to supplement an external beam dose, uh, is administered to a well-defined volume, and today the gold standard is image-guided brachytherapy, MRI-guided brachytherapy, uh, may be given in pre- or post-operative setting, and sometimes also maybe sole treatment. We can perform uh, brachytherapy uh, using several types uh, of application, intracavitary, that is the mainstay in the treatment of cervical cancer for a long time, for more than 60 years, or interstitial, and also we can use a different dose rate, low, high dose rate, and the more recently, pulsed uh, dose rate uh, brachytherapy. The rationale in uh, using brachytherapy in gynecological cancer is because we have very robust evidence that the inclusion of brachytherapy in the protocol in the treatment of cervical cancer show to reduce local recurrence and also to improve overall survival. That is very important. When compared usually brachytherapy with other external beam techniques, the, usually the superiority of brachytherapy is explained by an unparalleled dose distribution that is characterized by a low integral dose and a sharp dose gradient. In addition, brachytherapy eliminates Can you slide to show the slide? Ah, okay, right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, in addition, they said uh, brachytherapy eliminates the requirement of the additional margins uh, to account as for the setup errors in order to adapt to changes in bladder and rectal fitting that both of these conditions are challenges for RBT uh, precision. Uh, as I said, brachy as you know, brachytherapy is really well established along history and we have uh, many, many recommendations uh, for uh, uh, this uh, uh, technique. We have a European recommendation just listed here, mainly from uh, our European society, the European group of Brachy, linked with the ESTRO, the European Society of Radiation Therapy, mainly for cervix cancer, mainly for the use uh, of uh, image guided. And uh, more uh, recently, just uh, this year, uh, some uh, uh, target concept for image guided adaptive brachytherapy in primary vaginal cancer. Just an example of to define uh, uh, volume, uh, GTV, GTV residual, uh, high risk CTV, intermediate, etc., etc. So, just uh, all is well documented. That there are really very practical rules in order to apply at the best uh, the brachytherapy technique. Of course, also from uh, the other side uh, of, uh, of, the, of, uh, of the sea, we have the American recommendation that are mainly in the American brachytherapy society. Again, uh, high dose rate brachytherapy, interstitial brachytherapy for vaginal cancer, adjuvant, etc., etc. Um, 
Of course, uh, uh, brachytherapy also suffer from some uh, limitation. The most important that uh, we need uh, really a good teaching for, for performing brachytherapy because brachytherapy is a very strong uh, operator dependent technique and requires a specific skill that if absent can significantly affect the outcome. We have uh, additional aspect for limiting, for limitation of brachytherapy. The first is cervical dilatation is occasionally challenging with necessity full anesthesia, which is associating operating and recovery room time. Brachytherapy, of course, may be associated, not frequently, fortunately, with severe side effects, including uterine perforation, vaginal laceration, and of course, anesthesia associated risk. We can have physical constraints due to the variation in vaginal accommodation, maybe by, by age, by the prior surgical procedure for some malformation of the uterus, or also for insufficient reduction, screenage of the tumor volume that can preclude some patient from having an adequate applicator insertion. Maybe, of course, the refuse of the patient, anxiety, discomfort, and in clinical practice, the lack of a full implementation of high quality volumetric image that can guide brachytherapy in the routine uh, practice. Uh, the first uh, uh, paper uh, was published 15 years ago that uh, supported uh, or proposed the use of uh, simultaneous integrated EMRT boost for locally advanced gynecological cancer. It was not a clinical paper, but just a discussion, a presentation about some radiobiological and dosimetric uh, uh, consideration by Monica Guerrero from, uh, from the United States. And uh, the proposal was uh, in order to replace uh, using a simultaneous integrated boost given during the wool pelvis irradiation in order to replace uh, the conventional two-phase treatment and they demonstrate that from the point of view of dosimetry and radiobiology uh, can be used. For patients, the recommendation remains that uh, EMRT boost, uh, synchronous or also sequential, but use only in case in which uh, brachytherapy is not uh, suitable for anatomical or medical reason. In any case, EMRT can cover very well the target, uh, coverage from 94, 95.5%. And uh, uh, bladder and uh, rectum sparing is significantly improvement, also with high dose of the simultaneous integrated uh, boost. The total time integrating the boost is reduced instead of uh, seven weeks can be reduced to the uh, normal time for wood uh, pelvis irradiation, that is five weeks. And what is observed, uh, you can see here the, the, the graphic of this, you can see here that uh, considering the risk in terms uh, of uh, uh, for rectum and for bladder also means that can be also significant sparring to normal structure. And this offer a potential for dose escalation that we need to give high dose in order to control uh, cervical cancer. The paper of Guerrero has been uh, also uh, explored uh, many years uh, uh, after from uh, Dr. Mahoud, Mahmoud, again from uh, United States, but I believe it's maybe Egyptian. Egyptian doctor, so. And uh, also, again, uh, they examined the biological efficacy of the short integrated EMR bo boost. You can see here the slide, and uh, has been compared using uh, as a uh, uh, critical point the BED 10, the BAD, biological equivalence at 10 gray and has been seen, has been demonstrated that with the only exception of uh, in a, a radio, in more radio resistant tumor with uh, a long uh, tumor kickoff time in days for the start of uh, repopulation, accelerated repopulation, and also for 
case with a long tip pot that means a, a long potential doubling, doubling time in days, uh, uh, the use of integrated boost generally is better with respect to the conventional fractionation. In the same paper has been also reported uh, a series of paper that uh, may uh, support clinical evidence in using some alternative to uh, brachytherapy. You can see that we have a list of different techniques, 3D conformal, EMRT, stereotactic irradiation, and also one of the early <clears throat> treatment by proton different schedule, different dose, different follow-up, different beds, and also different local control, but remain quite high in the range between 70, 75, up to 80, 90, and in some cases, in very limited cases, limited series, up to 100%. There are some uh, trouble about uh, toxicity because we have uh, some report in which we have severe toxicity has not been observed, but we have also cases in which has reported quite high rate of uh, severe toxicity, up to 25 or 17 percent. But in any case, all of these studies are very limited, all are retrospective, very heterogeneous in those fractionation and techniques, as, as, as I said uh, before. And in any case, has been applied uh, uh, in the management of cervical cancer only in case when brachytherapy delivery was not uh, possible. Some uh, in silico study has been performed in order to compare different techniques in giving the boost, like uh, mentioned before by my friends and uh, colleagues. The patient has been treated by high dose rate brachytherapy, but in silico has been produced different uh, uh, treatment plan using EMRT, volumetric arc, dynamic EMRT, and tomotherapy uh, uh, also. And uh, the uh, comparison was uh, typical uh, brachytherapy treatment using the tandem and the ovoid. In these uh, uh, differences, dose distribution has been examined the dose to the target volume. And there are no observed optimizing all these planes, no difference in point A dose with a range around 100% of the prescription dose. Also in terms of coverage of the planning target volume, external beam irradiation are not inferior to brachytherapy. You can see very good coverage. What is changed, of course, but is expected that, for example, we have an average maximum dose that is uh, equal to 100% using brachytherapy and increase using uh, volumetric or OEMRT technique. This is, a, is a due to the bad dose that we have typically using, uh, using this dose. In the same paper, in silico, has been also evaluated those to normal tissue. And uh, in this case, uh, this is this, all, all, the, all the data in the te <coughs> tested in the two tailed uh, the test. And uh, but this is a summary. Uh, the dose, uh, uh, the Dmax, the maximum dose to the bladder with EMRT was lower with respect to MRT and also other technique. Also, the small bowel the bowl was spared better. Vaginal mucosal point uh, lower, this is not an advantage. Uh, lower, higher dose, uh, lower dose, of course, to the femoral head, uh, the ma maximum dose and mean dose using uh, brachytherapy and no difference in bladder and uh, in rectum. The conclusion of this in silico paper work was that the external beam irradiation is not to replace brachytherapy, but as a tool when brachytherapy is not available. We performed uh, one year ago and published on e-cancer the same, uh, the same uh, type of, uh, of, uh, of paper. And also, again, we uh, Consider dosimetry and uh, radiobiology issues in uh, 15 women uh, treated uh, 
by brachytherapy, I, uh, external beam irradiation, followed by intracavitary brachytherapy. Patient may be treated with high dose rate or pulse, right? we use uh, all, all the system. And for each patient, uh, EMRT plans were elaborated to mimic the intracavitary brachytherapy. You can see here the result. Of course, the volume of the target is much higher using EMRT boost. And we have the slightly more dose to the rectum wall and bladder wall uh, using the MRT boost. This is, uh, is opposite to the previous in silico study. Using uh, uh, intracavitary brachytherapy uh, boost, we have a conf higher conformity index, a higher conformation bo uh, boost. And uh, in some case, maybe also more homogeneous. We have considered also uh, from the point of view of radiobiology, the equivalence uh, of uh, uh, different uh, schedule uh, by brachytherapy and uh, by uh, EMRT, high dose rate, uh, pulsed dose rate at 15 gray and pulsed dose rate is a total of 30 gray. And this has been reported in terms of biological or equivalent dose at two gray, the value of the different uh, schedule. What we at the, at the hand consider is that patient unsuitable for uh, uh, intracavitary brachytherapy should receive a full EMRT treatment without any dose reduction or, or target missing. And also, in our opinion, EMRT can be delivered using a simultaneous integrated boost that reduces the overall treatment time. But we have also reported uh, very recently on the Red Journal patient that effectively has been treated in my institute, in the European Institute of Oncology in, in Milano, because uh, for patients that are unfit for brachytherapy, 25 women with cervical cancer, different stage. We have treated with uh, EMRT only on the full pelvis, integrated boost, plus or minus the paraortic lymph node irradiation. 25 cases in four years that we have treated for using two different techniques. One EMRT with the step and shoot fixed field from five to seven steps or using VMAT, so dynamic weight arc technique. This patient may be unfit to anesthesia, this case that can be treated by uh, brachy from the geometrical point of view, but not for general condition, or this case in which it's really impossible to cover so large extension of the disease. Usually we use five fractions for the boost of five gray each, that is equivalent dose to gray of about 40 gray. It's absolutely equivalent to brachytherapy. These are the result, very high local control, 80%, remain stable at two years. We have more advanced case, some advanced case in which distant metatherapy developed in the future. We have two years uh, progression free survival, 55%, and two years over a survival of uh, 67%. We confirm that uh, EMRT, fixed beam or volumetric arc is feasible in terms of uh, low rate of side effect. And we observe that 21, 28% of grade one acute toxicity, 21% of late grade one, so very limited uh, side effect and 12% acute and late grade two uh, toxicity. This is just an example of uh, a patient with a partial remission after the pelvic EMRT with a sequential boost and uh, at uh, one year and a half uh, complete uh, local uh, control. Before has been mentioned proton, and proton may be a challenge for the future. The problem is that how we can demonstrate a clinical advantage in terms of dosimetry, absolutely. Uh, they use uh, especially of pencil beam scanning, so means uh, active uh, uh, 
uh, scanning uh, that is the most uh, modern, most uh, recent uh, way to, uh, to give uh, a proton beam and is, is in favor of uh, proton beam, uh, both with respect to e EMRT, free flattering field, volumetric arc for almost all of uh, the constraint. The question, the real question for proton, not only in this case, but in general, is if this dosimetric benefit can, how can be translated into clinical relevant result and this is still a, a question that is still unanswered just to look at what happened in uh, in the in the real world uh, this is a quite interest, uh, interesting report from national cancer database uh, in uh, us you can see that uh, uh, the use of brachytherapy is absolutely remain the most frequent, very huge number of patients in this registry. More than 90% receive brachytherapy for the boost, less than 1% stereotactic irradiation, and uh, slightly more than 9% EMRT. What is of interest, no significant difference in overall survival for patients who received stereotactic boost versus brachytherapy boost, but a significant overall survival detriment in patients who received EMRT versus brachytherapy. I believe that uh, can be uh, cons considered as a result of different selection of, uh, of, uh, of the patient, probably a more advanced case has been treated by external beam because unfit for brachytherapy. This means the main cause of uh, this difference in overall survival. Very strong position just uh, <clears throat> this year on cancer radiotherapy. Uh, the Journal of the French Society of uh, Radiation Oncology. The paper is in French, but uh, this is the, some point uh, of, uh, from this paper. And they sustain, of course, a long tradition in France. Today, no data allow us to consider as an alternative the use of external boom, boost through AMRT or SBT with respect to the curative therapy. So it means that the curative therapy is not optional in the cancer du col uterin. It is therefore appropriate for centers that do not have access to the technique to establish networks with center where brachytherapy is performed to allow each patient to have access to the technique. It is also necessary to promote brachytherapy uh, teaching. So very strong, uh, strong declaration of uh, to maintain brachytherapy as a main standard for for, for boost. And this uh, substantial, this, uh, sorry, uh, using this comparison of uh, on three patients with different anatomical uh, um, condition, and this is a comparison between curie therapy, uh, brachytherapy in, in English, uh, and the stereotactic body irradiation uh, made by uh, Cybernai machine. And you can see that uh, the uh, coverage of uh, the clinical target volume is uh, better with respect, uh, uh, is in favor of curie therapy or brachytherapy with respect to uh, uh, external beam uh, irradiation. And uh, we have approximately the same data in terms of uh, uh, limiting the dose uh, to the bladder, to the rectal, and to the small uh, bowel. Just to conclude, uh, we can say that brachytherapy is still considered an integral part of gynecological cancer treatment paradigm. This is a long history and remain also today the most recommended approach. Literature is addressing uh, stereotactic body radiation, EMRT is a brachytherapy alternative, but is quite limited with a wide heterogeneity of treatment uh, parameters. Globally, the treatment outcomes of external beam boost might not to be inferior to those reported in brachytherapy series, or some paper are not new, so it means before the era of uh, MRI image-guided brachytherapy. 
This comparable result can be explained by the fact that the implementation of a perfect brachytherapy implant is not easy with high interfraction and interpartitional variability. And such variability should be reduced in properly executed external beam technique, MRI guided, robust plan optimization, precise treatment delivery, tracking technique, adaptive planning, fractionation schedule based on biomarkers. This is all. Thank you very much.